I'm Funky Monkey, welcome to my house of love, so on and so forth. So there's one more Lego movie to talk about, but it isn't an original story. It's based around the Lego Ninjago franchise. If you've never heard of Ninjago, it's a pretty popular show on streaming, with 15 seasons under its belt. So a movie was long overdue. Anyway, let's get to it. Released in 2017, the Lego Ninjago movie is a standalone movie which shares little with the long-running series. The secret ninja force protect Ninjago from Lord Garmadon's attempted conquests. But the Green Ninja, leader of the secret force, is actually Garmadon's son. This was the lowest performing movie of the Lego franchise to date, making only 123 million at the box office, and with a critic score of just 56% on Rotten Tomatoes. Not shaping up well, is it? Anyway, let's judge for ourselves as we head to Ninjago Island for... The Lego Ninjago Movie! Come into the Emporium of Curios, and hear the tale of Lloyd, son of Garmadon. Lloyd Garmadon, son of conquering warlord Lord Garmadon. Lloyd is despised by the town in general for his parentage, though surprisingly, he has friends. But who are these brave souls? All is revealed when Garmadon attacks. Yes, these are our heroes, the Ninjago secret ninja force, who defeat Garmadon and his underlings, sending him scurrying back to his volcano lair. Back at base, Master Wu has some wise words for our heroes, and an ultimate weapon, which Lloyd covets. Ultimate weapons, surefire one-shots, I've never met a single one that's worked. If you ask me, it's all bunk. And it isn't long before the multi-armed malcontent Garmadon makes his next attempt to conquer the city. And the SNF are right there. But Mega Missile Mode won't work on the new Garmadon mech, and with Master Wu distracted, Lloyd takes the ultimate weapon, and unleashes a light beam? But the laser summons the real ultimate weapon, Meowthra. Meowthra. That's it. That's the level we're at, folks. That's the level of creative bankruptcy that we've actually reached. Well, maybe they could have come up with something better, but... They didn't. So this is where we're at. Meowthra. I'll spare you the rant. And as Garmadon extinguishes all hope, Lloyd renounces his name. After all, it's no life when you've let down all who rely on you. And honestly, I can't relate. I've never actually failed that spectacularly. Oh sure, I've blown my cover loads of times. And I've had to fight my way out when the intel was bad more times than I can count. But I've always left the city standing. There is, however, one hope to stop Meowthra and save the city. A long, dangerous trek to the far side of Ninjago Island. But Lord Garmadon is monitoring them. And seeks to put an end to his eternal rival, Master Wu. Master Wu seems to have the upper hand. But oh dear. Don't worry folks, this is a kid's movie, of course he makes it. But Master Wu is swept away, and only returns for the climax. What then is to be done with a caged Garmadon? He's carried along, to lead our heroes down the wrong path. Where Garmadon's impatience with his former underlings is about to catch up with him. You see... Garmadon fired his failed generals. Out of a volcano, I mean. They landed in the wilds of Ninjago Island, and have been plotting their revenge ever since. Which leads to a rare House of Love double tip. Firstly, if you're going to have underlings, be nice to them, especially in their severance packages. Secondly, taking shortcuts through dangerous jungles is usually a bad idea. Luckily, the rest of the SNF escape and they ninja their way to Lloyd's rescue. And so, with the power of montage, our heroes build an airship to escape the fired generals, and reach the Temple of Fragile Foundations, 
childhood home of Garmadon, and resting place of the pieces that activate the SNF's Ninjago powers. But Garmadon still lusts for conquest, and leaves our heroes to suffer the subsidence. Lucky for them then, that the power of Ninjago was inside them all along. And Master Wu delivers them back to Ninjago City, to finally put an end to the menace of Garmadon. If Mialtra hasn't beaten them to it. But this movie's climax is rather more... Emotional. Lloyd bears his soul to the beast, and by extension his father, as the molten tears of Garmadon liberate him from the stomach of Mialthra. This then is the lesson, and training begins at dawn. So that was the Lego Ninjago movie. But I can't put this one into my house of love. There's no getting around it. Out of all the Lego movies to date, this is the weakest one. The characters feel undernourished, and anyone who didn't know better would mistake Garmadon's voice actor for Batman all over again. But we'll start with the performances. And Dave Franco's Lloyd is at turns generic and over-emotional, carrying the burden of being an entire city's villain because of his parentage, while also carrying the secret of being their greatest hero. The real villain, of course, is Justin Theroux's Lord Garmadon, who hands it up a good'un, saving the movie from being a total disaster by being a force of personality, something the rest of the cast lacks, outside of Jackie Chan, who even in voice is a masterful Master Wu. And yes, the flow is smooth enough, the characters are introduced, the disaster happens to put them in a dark place, and they quest their way out of it. But we've seen this The Power Is Yours story several times before. In The Matrix, in Kung Fu Panda, even in Star Wars. This is the monomyth, though I won't say that it's the worst version. And really, the main sin is that this movie feels generic, and the moral of family overcoming all feels forced, even as Lloyd's dad is a shark robot driving conquest mad hundred plus year old warlord. But what I can't fault in this movie are the effects. No longer the brick based explosions of other Lego movies, the Lego Ninjago movie stands apart on its smoke and water effects, much more realistic, and though I may roll my eyes at the name of Meowthra, the model itself is rendered fantastically. And while I can't speak for anyone who's seen the series, I can say that my interest was at least piqued by this movie. So, no, it's not a bad movie, it may not be more than a forgettable Lego themed kitty quieter, and the overbearing message of family looms large over it, but the Lego Ninjago movie is, at the very least, an acceptable introduction to the world of Ninjago, and that if nothing else, is awesome. I've been Funky Monkey, wishing you better days and better movies. Matane! Hey folks, Funky again. If you liked the video, you know where that button is. Or why not consider subscribing and ringing the notification bell? And if you want to be extra awesome, you can check out my crowdfunding links. Funding me grants access to the VIP channel in my Discord server, but there's still plenty of fun in general. And if you're not fussed about any of it, that's okay too. So long! <laughs>